So I'm trying to put these three resistors on at once. And how you solder them is you just get the tip of the soldering iron, which is really hot, and you press it on there. And once it's a little bit hot, in like about five seconds, you can press your solder, which is a mix of tin and lead, I believe, and it melts onto there. And you have to get like a sort of mountain Hershey, Hershey's Kiss shaped sort of look on top of the copper pad. And that's how to do basically easy soldering. And I just do a ton more of these for each component. Oh, oops. Well, I accidentally um, put the wrong resistors in the wrong spot. And um, now I have to cut them out and redo them. Isn't that great? Alright, so now I've got the last resistor to put in, and it's apparently zero ohms, which is sort of like a measurement for, uh, for the res amount of resistance it puts up. But this is R22, or the 22nd resistor that I've had to put in. And it just has a single black stripe around its body, so. Yeah, just, we're almost to the end of the resistor section. And I believe next up is diodes. And that concludes the resistor section. Well, if you don't count clipping off these little ends. So, 22 resistors, and yep. There we go. Now we're moving on to diodes. And that marks the end of the diode section. And I believe now we have ceramic capacitors.
So I just finished the ceramic capacitors and now there's a there's a push button to put on. Basically just a, like a normal switch, but you have to hold it down to like keep the current flowing. And now the other one, or the other little, what's it called, trimmer for adjusting voltage and other trimmable things. And the other uh, trimmer is done. And now I think we have to touch the, the battery input or the nine volt little jack sort of thing. And the, and the speaker, which is in this box, which obviously provides the sound for the steam locomotive. So now I just need to put in the IC socket, or I need to put in the IC bar. and you basically just plug it in. Sometimes you have to adjust the little prongs so it fits in right. Because you want to be delicate with these things. All right, now the IC is in, or the little socket part, and I believe now what we have to do is attach the nine volt battery jack. All right, so I accidentally messed up and I put in the, the battery terminals backwards. <laughs> so the, wait, let's see if I can get it here. Um, well, the, the, these little things went in backwards, so now I have to take them out and reverse it. Looks like the third mistake on this project. Oh wait, now we have the speaker part, or the attaching the speaker to the thing. So now um, they gave you a red and black wire and you're supposed to strip the ends and then solder them in. So one end to the circuit board and then let's take the speaker out. And then the other ends of the wire to this thing. That's the speaker. I'm not sure where you solder it to, but let's see if I can strip these wires. So you get out your pocket knife and you just rub away the insulation on these wires. And now the positive slash uh, red wire. There, finally, okay. All four wires are, or all two wires are stripped. Or, yeah, both of them are stripped on both sides. And now to attach the speaker to the, to the, main circuit board which is starting to look quite complicated with all the components on here. Alright so that's clipped off and just blowing away the little things. So now, our I think second to last step, actually, yeah, second to last step, since actually we still, actually we can do that now. These little sort of tweaky things actually go into the trimmers, which I showed you earlier, which is a, which like modify the voltage and current and do certain things. They're like little, little sort of handles for them. So you just pop them in, so that's one, 
and they're gonna like adjust things. Well, they're, the trimmers are the ones that adjust things, and these are just handles for the trimmers. So it's easier to turn them. And now back to putting the speaker in. There we go, finally. This project is finished. And um, I think that's all that there is to do. I mean like, there's that. Oh, well obviously there's still a test, but I just need to read how to operate these thing, or how to operate this. All right, well, I think I have an idea. So now let me just grab a nine volt, nine volt battery to try this thing out. All right, so I managed to scrounge up with a nine volt battery. And now make sure the switch is on the off position. Yes, it is. And actually, there's a bunch of stuff over here. All right, so we plug this into the into the battery make sure that's connected now the moment of truth let's turn the speaker and press the on switch Bye. 